Here we go. Today, I'm taking you on my favorite blue run from the top of Whistler into the Creekside Zone. We've got both blue flow trails and tech trails. I'm starting this run from the top of the Whistler Village gondola in 2023, but it could also be done from the top of the Garbanzo lift. You'll just cut off a small part of Una Moss, which I'm on now. Actually, after the 2023 season, the Garbanzo lift will probably be the only access point. Either way, regardless of which lift you take up, you'll still hit the best parts of this run. Right now I'm on Unamas, and the link up will go Unamas to Midgard and then Spin Nar. What I really like about this link up is that you hit some excellent trails that are relatively unridden. Unlike most of the trails in the park that feel very worn in and worn out, most riders simply don't come over to this part of the park, leaving these trails with a much more natural feel than any of the other trails in the park. Whew. Coming in a little hot there. Heads up, be careful not to oversend little jumps like I just did there. Now, I know you're thinking this trail I'm on now doesn't look very natural, and that's true, but you'll notice the difference once I get onto Midgard and Spin Nar. This Una Moss trail is really just to get us to the good stuff, so let's jump ahead. Onward to Midgard. Now, I have actually not had the chance to really rip it down Midgard. I came down Midgard with my girlfriend a couple times, going her pace, which is beginner pace. And the trail was also really slippery and wet, so I am looking forward to this. Like I've really been looking forward to get on getting on Midgard here. Just being able to move at the pace I want to move at. When I'm on Midgard, I feel like I'm truly in the Pacific Northwest. The dirt is moist and brown, even when the rest of the park is incredibly dry. There's very few intersecting trails, and the trail is laid out so well. You can carry your speed, it doesn't descend too quick, and your speed winds down a bit before doing a switchback. Yeah, I love this one. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Yeah, the dirt out here is just primo today. We got a bunch of rain over the last two weeks. We haven't had any rain for three or four days now. So it's kind of dried up nicely. And other parts of the park are starting to get a little dusty again. But over here on Midgard, it is nice and hero-like. Slippery rock. section there felt good. Still going. And that is the end of Midgard. Into Upper South Park. This trail is pretty fast moving trail. With some nice corners on it. 
If you come into Creekside, you are pretty much bound to hit it. Like all the trails in Creekside run off of Upper South Park. And I've got a little bit of ground to cover until I catch Spinnar. Okay, so on Upper South Park here, you've got a surprise climb. There we go. And then it's into Spinnar, a blue tech trail. This area of Spinnar is always a little wet. But after that, it gets dry. I love Spin Nar because it holds your speed incredibly well, but still has enough tech to keep you on your toes. Like the rest of Creekside, it does hold more water than the rest of the park, so keep in mind the conditions as you head this way. If it's been a wet few days, this one in Midgard can be a slosh pit. But if the rest of the park is dry, things will probably be really nice over here. calling me right now. Uh, time to stop and check my phone. Carrying on Spinnar. From here, we can jump on Earth Circus, but I am not a fan at all of Earth Circus. So I'm gonna stick with Call Me Maybe here, and then another tech trail, blue tech trail, as we get lower off of Call Me Maybe. So Earth Circus uh, is a blue flow trail, but I just find that the corners are like too tight and too fast and it just gives me a headache riding down it so yeah if i can avoid earth circus i like to do that and i like riding down call me maybe here oh, weird section there 
And here is Earth Circus again. We can take the right and stay on BCC. That little section of rock is twicky, twicky, tricky. So every time you hit it, your rear wheel slides and you're kind of cornering. Yeah, when it gets wet, uh, it's even nastier. But riding that stuff is what makes us better mountain bikers. And now it is on to the legendary Earth Circus to the bottom. Thank you, just me.